Hello everyone again. Um, in this video, I'm going to solve some uh, problems based on Newton's second law again uh, in different scenarios. OK, so uh, we can find Newton's second law in different situations. So uh, we have to choose the appropriate strategy in solving uh, the problems. OK, so it's, it's very important to understand the concept and uh, to use the appropriate formula. OK. So uh, let's let's read this question, all right? As as always, right? Let's read this question. So this is um, a 50 kilogram person, okay? Steps on a scale in an elevator, right? The scale reaches 500 newton, and then what is the magnitude of acceleration of the elevator? Okay, this is the question. So uh, there are uh, important things now we have to remember as always, we have to know what is given, okay? And then we will interpret this into practical uh, scenario, okay? So this is the, the force is given uh, as uh, 500, okay? 500 Newtons, okay? What else? Well, the mass of the person is given as 50 kilograms, okay? I have these two things, right? Okay, now I'm going to, find or my required value is or physical quantity is acceleration acceleration is what all right this is the thing now i have to I have to uh, kind of making some some picture so uh if this is let's say uh the scale in the elevator okay this is the scale in the elevator the guy is kind of standing on that all right, so the elevator is uh, 500 Newton. So if I can change this into a free body diagram, I know there is the, the weight of the guy is down, downwards because there is always gravity acting on that mass, on the mass of the person. So there is weight, okay, there is weight, and then there is force and there is acceleration. Now, if I can further, okay, if I can further simplify this into a free body diagram, I have the weight which is mg all right weight is equal to mass times gravity of that person and there is force okay there is force here and then i'm going to calculate the acceleration okay i'm going to calculate the acceleration now i can start from newton's second law um the force net okay the force net all right the force net is equal to mass times acceleration okay this is as always all right so one thing i have to know here is what is mass times gravity that is the weight mass times gravity is the weight which is my weight is equal to the 50 kilograms times the 9.8 meters per second square okay so the 50 times 9.8 meters per second square will give me 490 Newtons, okay? This is very important. Now, I'm going to solve my problem. If net is the force here, the 500 Newton force, minus the weight, right? Which is equal to mass times acceleration, okay? So my force is simply the 500 Newtons minus, the weight is the mass of the person and the gravity, which is 490 newtons which is equal to again 50 kilograms times acceleration all right so 500 this one 500 minus 490 is simply 10 newton which is equal to 50 kilograms times the acceleration now divide both sides by 50 by 50 kilograms right and then divide by 50 kilograms all right so my acceleration at the end of the day will be, this will cancel one over five, which is approximately, or which is 0 0.2 uh, meters per second square. So this is how I calculate the acceleration of uh, the elevator, okay? So simply the net force, I have to know what is the weight, what is the gravity, multiply that and then get the weight first, okay? Then I have to subtract from the force, the weight, and that will be the mass times acceleration of the elevator. And then uh, the mass times gravity, mass times acceleration of the elevator means that since the guy is in the elevator, okay, so we, we consider uh, that mass times acceleration as uh, the net force, okay, 
So simply you divide by mass, which is by 50 kilogram, and then finally you will get the acceleration 0 0.2 meters per second square. Okay. All right. Let's let's proceed to the next question. Okay, to the next question. Next question is here. This question is again uh, Newton's second law. So uh, a 500 kilograms, a 500 kilograms, a 500 kilograms sports car. Okay, a 500 kilograms sports car accelerates from rest. Okay, it accelerates from rest to 80 kilometers per hour in 3.6 seconds. This is very important information here. What is the magnitude of force? Or what magnitude of force does the 65 kilogram passenger experience during the acceleration? All right. So, uh, well, uh, there is mass of the car, and then let's say mass of the car. Let's 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 list down everything, and then we'll see if we can use them. Okay, 500 kilograms. This is mass of the car, and then starts from rest. What does starts from rest means? Okay, I hope you have some little background and then you read something. So starting from rest, when something starts from rest, the initial velocity or u is equal to uh, zero meters per second. Okay, u is just the initial velocity. Okay, you can say ui or vi if you want, just u is just the initial velocity. And then v is the final velocity two to 80 kilometers per hour, which is the 80 kilometers per hour and you can convert this one which is equal to if you divide 80 kilometers per hour into uh, meters per second what you have to do is simply divide uh, simply 80 divided by 3.6 okay this will give you uh, the, the, the 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 meters per second okay whenever you have kilometers per hour simply what you have to do is just divide that um, uh, by 3.6 okay this is approximately about uh, 22.2 right this is 22.2 meters per second okay 22.2 meters per second right all i did is just divide by 3.6 right if it is kilometers per hour what else is given time is also given here the time is 3.6 second okay that is 3.6 second time is given all right all right now the question is what required all right what is required what is required or what is asked the force is asked here all right, the force is asking. Now, the next thing is what I have to do is now, I know that the question is about the passenger, about the 60 kilogram passenger. It's not about the car, okay? The car is moving in this situation, but since the passenger is in the car, what acceleration or what force this, this passenger can, can experience is the question. So simply, if I have to solve this one, all right, if I have to solve this one, my formula is force on the passenger is equal to mass of the passenger times acceleration. Okay, mass of the because I'm talking about the passenger now. Be careful, force of the passenger is mass times mass of the passenger times acceleration of the car. Okay, the acceleration of the car. But now, how can I calculate the acceleration of the car? Okay, but I can say this one, but okay. From the definition of acceleration, acceleration is change in V over change of time, right? So this acceleration is simply, all right, V minus U, all right? The final velocity minus the initial velocity over time, all right? So this is simply mean that acceleration is equal to, you have the V, which is the 22.2, right? The 22.2, 22.2 meters per second minus zero because the initial is zero this is zero divide by the time is 3.6 seconds so the acceleration is the acceleration is what about 6.17 if you divide this you will get 6.17 meters per second square okay this is very important very important acceleration now i'm gonna use that one here all right to my formula all right so force is equal to mass times of the, the person is how much? That is given right here, 65 kilograms, okay? So 65 kilograms multiplied by the 
seven meter per second square. Okay, so the force on the passenger or the passenger experienced this amount of force. If you multiply this, you will get about 401 Newton. So this is the amount of force that the passenger experienced during the acceleration of the car. Okay, so uh, you have to be careful. The two, even though there is 500 kilograms of the car, this we don't use this one. Just we don't. This is just the information there. So it doesn't mean we have to use everything in there. We have to remember what is asked. The question is about the the passenger, not about the car. Okay, it's not about the car. So if the question was about the car. All you have to do is you have to change the mass of the passenger by the mass of the car. So instead of 65, you would have used the 500 kilograms. Okay. So as as option, if you wanna calculate what is the force of the car, simply it's gonna be what 500, right? Kilograms times 500 kilograms times what? Uh, mass times acceleration. The acceleration is already calculated here, which is uh, 6.17 meters per second, right? Which is completely different from the answer uh, of uh, the force that's experienced on, on the passenger, okay? The passenger experiences this amount, the 410, but the car is just something else different. You can multiply this and then find and compare uh, if you want, okay? Just compare and enjoy that, that, that uh, problem. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in another video uh, next time.